All right, so I got in trouble for going to work. We in different places. I'ma just go. Aside from you know me going, getting in trouble for going to work, actually something really weird did happen at work. Um, thing that was just like out of the blue, random happened. I guess um, I went to work and did my thing. This happened yesterday. Um, I went to work. And I did my little thing at my job, you know, me and my awesome title as denim expert. But um, I went to work and I got in trouble for going to work, which is weird. Uh, how do you get in trouble going to work? But it's all set and done now. Um, I have myself a jolly good time at work and you now I love my job. But my this video here is about my job, actually. Uh, if you are friends with me, you would know that I am the denim expert at Hot Topic, which is weird because you never really hear a position like that. But I have this position and um, I really like it and everything and I'm trained for it. So I, since me working at Hot Topic, I get to wear anything that is pop culture or music and that we might sell in a store or sell online or something that's just like, it's just out of the blue. Now, my, my typical style, since I bring a majority of the gay crowd in the store, my style is different from everybody else's. So I wear, will, I will wear something that you probably will never see in the store. Hopefully you do after some time, but most likely you won't. <laughs> I, I had on this shirt on Monday. The, it was my uh, fuck hate tank top. Had my shirt on, you know, doing my little thing. Everybody was like, oh my god, I love your shirt. Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? And so I get picked up, and uh, my mom and her boyfriend are complaining at me because I'm wearing this shirt and the fact that the shirt has the word fuck on it. Now, granted that the word isn't spelled out all the way, I really didn't get in trouble with my managers because they actually like the shirt. And it's a gay activist shirt, so it really doesn't, it doesn't, have any like bad meaning or connotation to it so the shirt itself is not bad well according to my mom and her boyfriend the shirt is bad because it has the f word on it number one and it's gay rights shirt i shouldn't wear it i should be discreet so i'm sitting here like wow this is like not really that cool um so then they went on about how the shirt was inappropriate and that if, even if I work for Fuck Hate itself that I really should be wearing the shirt in public. Um, like I said, the shirt does not have the whole word spelled out on it and it's a gay activist shirt. So, uh, I, got, I got something in my teeth. <laughs> then afterwards I had asked my managers about the shirt and they were like, dude the shirt was really cool, I really liked the shirt. And I told them what happened, they were like, that's stupid because the shirt isn't bad. We have a lot of other stuff in the store that is gay pride and it also is, they have like even more vulgar stuff on it. So, but um, my question to you out there is, do you think this shirt is appropriate to wear in the mall? Because that's where I work. I work in the mall and, um, you know, I do my little thing there. But do you think that shirt is appropriate to wear in the mall? Please send me a message to my personal channel. It's going to be in the description. And I need to know, like, I need to know, like, right now, like, right now, like, right now. I want you to, like, send me a message or s shoot a comment down below. Like this video because if you like this video, that means our insights will go up. And if you subscribe to our channel, it'll be really legit. This is going to most likely be a video response to a fuck hate video. I'm really hoping that they watch this video and like it because, you know, I really do like this. Um, I really do like this campaign. And I, re I think it's really legit. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for viewing. And... Subscribe!